Grandma is ready to hit the road. So we are on the hunt for a mini trailer that Grandma can drive and explore this country. And I'm Joe. And we are two, two crazy, crazy campers. campers after losing a combined weight of more than 200 pounds. We realized we had so much more energy for activities. Come along with us as we explore the great outdoors. And join us on a brand new adventure. So Grandma is looking to follow us around in our RV with her own RV. For some reason, she does not want to smell your socks every morning. She wants her own place. I don't know why. So here's what we're going to do. In this video, while we're here at the Tampa RV Super Show, or the Florida RV Super Show, right. we're going to take a look at five different mini campers, and they all have to be under 2,000 pounds, and see if we can find the perfect mini trailer for Grandma. So first up is gonna be the Rovelite 14FD, and take a look here. This one has a weight of 1,676 pounds, 2,000 pounds fully loaded, sleeps three people. I like this, 19,999, totally reasonable. So let's go ahead and take a look on the inside. Okay, so let's take a look on the inside here. It's a nice little unit. Obviously it doesn't have a full bed that you're gonna have to make the bed. Okay, so I love this dinette. It actually drops down into a bed. I have a feeling you can screw it down a little bit because it's pretty jiggly right now, but I'm sure you can screw it down harder. And then you have this nice extra space here where you could lay down. Up here, I like this use of this storage. You have a little like cubby area that you can put everything with the netting to kind of hold everything in. So I really like this kitchen. You've got everything you need, a nice little refrigerator. You've got a suburban two burner stove and you have a nice little air conditioner here now you do have a small sink here stainless steel and then down below here you have a little bit of storage and then down here on the bottom you have your furnace one thing i do like about it is you have a full fan up here so you can get some ventilation and these ceilings are nice what i love the way this is made and i really like these paneling here this is not like one of those panelings that has like the wallpaper on it this is just a nice wood paneling now here we go this is the most important thing for grandma is we have to take a look at the bathroom and it is a wet bath and so we do have a wet bath which is probably what we're going to see in most of these smaller campers so we have a, a dometic toilet here Obviously, this is going to be plastic because we're trying to keep down on the weight. So we have our vent tube here. There is a fan there. And then we have our wet bath over on this side. But it's a decent size. Rounding up here in the back, we have a little bit of storage. So you have a little bit of countertop space here. And then a nice big cabinet here. Wow, all the way down. And it goes all the way down. And it's one big cabinet with three doors. Down here on the bottom, we have our battery disconnect and our converter box. Up here, we have the control for our AC, and then we also have controls for our hot water heater. So moving along to the outside, we do have a power awning that goes pretty much the entire length of the camper. And there is also a nice window here, as well as a light up there. So here you have some nice basement storage. It goes this way, it doesn't pass through this way, but it's a nice length of storage. And then over here, you have a little bit more access to that same storage area. Coming along to the front, we do have a single propane tank along with one battery. It is a manual uh, trailer jack, but again, this is a very lightweight trailer. Coming along to the other side, we have another window over here. City water connection, fresh water connection. There is part of our hot water heater, back of our refrigerator. Here's our furnace, and then of course we have an outside shower with our 30 amp service. And then down here is the part that grandma's gonna have to learn how to use, and that's our black tank disposal. Okay, so 
I don't know, is this the right unit for her? Well, I think there's definitely one giant selling point for this rig. Okay. And that is that awning. It, it is, is a nice awning. It is huge. You've created a separate room, a whole giant outdoor room. Yeah, because again, when we're in these smaller campers, most of your time is going to be spent on the outside. This is really giving you a place to sleep more than like a place to live like in the larger RVs. But I do think that there is uh, a definite drawback that is probably going to get grandma to not want to be in here. And that is that wet bath. It is a pretty small wet bath. I mean, even for just using the toilet itself, you don't have a whole lot of room in there. Well, thankfully we don't have to stop with just this one. Let's look around the show and see if we can find something even better. Okay, so option one didn't work. So we have option number two. Okay. We have a hard-sided pop-up. This is gonna be the A-Liner Scout Light, and it's got right here, dry weight is 1,111 pounds with a tongue weight of just 123 pounds. Now that is really good because that literally means like you, even you, could go and pick it up and move it around like in the garage. Like you wouldn't have to worry about like needing a tow vehicle to say move it around down the side of the house. A couple of the grandkids can come over, pick it up and just wheel it around. So it's gonna be uh, pretty much one of us is coming in here because this is literally a bed. So we have a section right here that is going to all become one bed. There's a little bit of storage under the two seats. Then we have a little bit of a sink here as well as a fold up table. Some storage down under here. We have our underneath the sink here. Over here on the other side, a little bit more storage. And then right here, we do have an air conditioner. Very important for Florida. Very important. And then over here, you do have like a little, like I guess you can call it like a sort of twin, where maybe a grandkid or something could kind of lay down. And then some more storage underneath there. This some storage here, some more storage underneath there. Let's go ahead and take a look at the outside. Okay, so it's just a simple A-frame. You have a nice big skylight here, another one up on top. Manual jack, place for your battery and your propane. <laughs> have this over here. We do have some, I'm pretty sure that's gonna be 30 amp service. I mean, maybe be 20 amp. A fresh water hookup. Very, very simple. You don't have a bathroom or anything like that. Nice diamond plate here on the back. And you can see over there. One thing I do like about this is that the door can actually be separated so that you can have the top and the bottom like disconnected like this. So you can have this little area to get some air in there. And, not quite sure if there's a screen or anything, but I'm sure you can get some kind of a screen or something to put on there. Yes or no for grandma? I think that there's a lot of yeses. The price is right. I think that it's very light and she could take care of it easy. And she's keto, so she doesn't need a bunch of grills and like a big kitchen. She's just gonna bring her George Foreman grill and a bunch of hamburgers. But the fact that it doesn't have a bathroom is probably gonna be a no for her. I'm gonna give you one more negative, even more important to me than the bathroom, because she's gonna pretty much go to state parks where you can just go use one of the facilities there, or she's gonna be following us around where she can just use our facilities. Sure. But here's the bigger one. Grandma's 71 years old. I don't want grandma to have to be going around and constantly raising and lowering the top. Whether it's hard-sided or not, I don't want her to have to deal with all of that. Okay, we may have found it. The Free Solo OG. Now this is basically a bed, but that's pretty much all she needs. This is a teardrop camper, so we do have a couple of cabinets up here. Air conditioner. Air conditioner, again, important here in Florida. You do have a couple of outlets back there, and weirdly it has a radio. Yep, and then over there is our furnace. Another cabinet over here. Looks like it must have an outdoor shower because it's got a little uh, piece over there. You do have two teddy bear mattresses and also a little bit of storage down here. Uh, and there is a fan up on top. Let's go ahead and take a look at the outside. Okay, so starting up here in the front, we do have a manual tongue jack. 
do have a place for propane and our batteries. It does have an awning up on top. Very nice. A nice big window and doors on both sides. Look at these tires. Off-road tires. Now, the regular price on this is $14,861. Sale price of $12,995. And we have vacuum bonded sides, a Magnum roof truss. And let's continue along the back. We have a nice big pop-up here for your traditional teardrop kitchens. We have a small refrigerator. We have our sink. And then a two burner stove. I even have speakers here in the back. And I like the little backsplash they have here. And then over here, we have a place to hook up our propane. Now continuing over on the other side, 30 amp hookup, here's our water, and then our other entrance to the bed. Okay, is this grandma's RV? I think that that kitchen on the back is a huge selling point that she would absolutely love. This definitely magnifies the fact that this is pretty much just for her to sleep in and she's going to spend the rest of her day outside of this rig, but I still think we need a bathroom. Okay, so you got the negative. Okay. And in the bathroom. Yeah. But here's what I'm going to say. This thing weighs like 1,100 pounds. You could move it around, no problem. It's gonna fit anywhere. You can pretty much store it in your garage. That's nice. And it has an air conditioner. Yes or no? No. The hunt continues. Okay, so this one may be an option. It is a little bit over our weight. We're looking at a dry weight here of 2,000 pounds, but I feel like it's gonna have everything. So we're gonna take a look at the Free Solo Romo the regular price is $17,493. The sale price is $14,995. And I think this has everything. Let's take a look at the inside. So stepping right up inside, immediately you're gonna see we have a wet bath. So we do have a toilet, Dometic toilet in here. It is a foot flush. You do have a shower and you have a nice shower curtain. I like these shower curtains, they work really well. Turning around on the inside. You have a microwave. That's kind of awesome. You a have a nice storage. bit of storage underneath your sink. You have your sink, two burner stove. We have a little bit of storage up on the top and that's a little bit of counter space. You can put a coffee maker up there, something like that. You got a refrigerator. You also have a radio down there on the bottom. We have our furnace. Again, another little place to Maybe put like maybe a portable television, something like that. And we have an air conditioner up on top. I believe this is a 5K a BTU. And over here on the side, we have some USB plugs, place for a satellite or cable, and also a couple of plugs. We have a nice window here. Strolling around, we have another cabinet up here. I like this swing around table so that you can use it when you have it all set up like a sofa. And then also this is gonna come in and it's gonna drop down and give you a nice size bed. Now, one thing I am gonna say I really like, first of all, you do have a roof fan up here, that's really cool, but I'm six foot and I'm standing up, I'm not slouching or anything like that. And I have, what about that? What about three inches clearance from my head to the roof? Now, I mean, I'm at the tallest part, but even standing back there, there is plenty of room in here. So for a teardrop, you got a lot of room on the inside here. Get in the shower and let's see. Now, I can't stand up, obviously, but it's a wet bath. So I'm supposed to be sitting down when I shower. So for that, I have plenty of room. And I actually, sorry about the mask, but I have enough wiping room. That's, that's kind of cool for this little wet bath. I can wipe in here. Okay, so taking a look at the outside, on the front here, we do have a manual tongue jack. One single propane can, a place to put all of our batteries. We have one large door does have a screen on it so you can have your screen door a nice step large off-road tires you have a window over here on this side whoa a pass teardrop through. with a little bit of pass-through storage that's awesome coming along here in the back so here your kitchen is all inside but there is a mount in the back so that you can put like you know, a bike rack or something like that on the back Obviously, manual stabilization jacks. 
We have an outdoor shower. Here is our hot water heater, 30 amp service. Our portable water fill up. We have another window. The vent for our AC. And then here is the back for our two way refrigerator. And then the vent for our furnace. And then here is our holding tank for uh, the sewer connection. And look at that. It's even ready for solar and it's got a fresh water connection. So what do you think? This is definitely a possibility. Yeah. It's absolutely a possibility on this one. The only issue is it's slightly over her uh, weight limit. So we're looking at 2,000 pounds dry weight, 200 pounds tongue weight. Probably by the time you put some of your stuff in there, especially grandma, she's going to want to carry everything. Of course. So you, you're going to max it out, probably be somewhere around 2,500 pounds may need to upgrade her vehicle to get this one. And that is a major cost. That's right. something you can get a really cheap trailer, but then if you have to upgrade your vehicle to tow it, it's not really a savings. Do you have a plus? Do I have a plus? The fact that the, the shower is so nice in there, the bathroom is so, I mean, you have really everything that you need in there in a nice little compact space. I think it's a contender. Okay, let's look around and see if we can find something better. Okay, next up is the 2021 Luna Rover. This one is coming in at a weight of 1,770 pounds. And nice. when you load it up, you're looking at about a 220 pound or so tongue weight. And uh, right here, we're looking at an MSRP of 22,532, show price of 21,532. So go on in there. Let's see. Oh my goodness. So we got a little luxury in this baby. Plenty of room to stretch out. These nice cushion pads. And let me tell you what, there's a fireplace in here. Wow, so there is a fireplace in here. There is a television. There is your a little uh, converter box. You got a radio. You have an air conditioner. Uh, there is a nice big fan up on top. You've got lighting, a little bit of storage there. A couple of little overhead storage pieces. But look behind you. First, you have a nice piece of storage down here. But Rachel, if you turn around, look behind you. You have some lights, cup holders, what? a nice little place to put here. And then, of course, look at all of this. This is pretty awesome. Let's take a look at the outside. Starting up here in the front, we do have a manual tongue jack. We have access to that storage that's behind the bed. It's probably locked here. Nope, there we go. So you can, that's getting in there under the bed. I love this windshield. Take a look at this windshield because what that's gonna do is allow all of that light in there. You're not gonna feel all claustrophobic inside of there. So coming over here onto the driver's side, we have a nice big door. And look at this, we got a step so that you can get up on top of the intact roof rack so you can carry a whole bunch of stuff up there. Take a look at these off-road tires. Those are tires for grandma. Those are awesome. Then we have here potable water and our city water hookup. We've got over here our little mini propane can electrical hookup down there and then take a look at this teardrop kitchen wow so we got a two burner dometic stove a little bit of storage underneath we've got a nice big sink this sink is as big as what's inside of eleanor a little bit of storage down here underneath we got a coleman little a cooler fridge a little bit more storage up here Look at all the storage up here. You got your speakers over there. Can we stop for a second, Joe? Because I cannot be the only person who has been worried that when you're looking at RVs, you're coming across drains full of fruit punch. That is actually antifreeze. They're using that to winterize the campers. Cause yes, we live in Florida. You don't need to winterize them down here, but most of the country, you gotta do that every single winter. So moving on, so over here we have our controls for our 12 volt fridge, for our accent line, our main light, and our water pump. I like the little backsplash there. 
And then coming back over here on the side, we've got another big window and another big door. So if we're gonna go teardrop. Yes, this is it, baby. I think this is the teardrop and the price is really awesome. Honestly, here's the thing. You have more room inside of this than you have inside of that A-frame pop-up and it's cheaper. And here's the thing, you've got to know what you're doing with it. I know my mom, mm -hmm. and I know that my mom is primarily going to stay at places where there is a full hookup, and there's showers, and there's restrooms. She's going to be staying at either like RV places, or she's going to be staying at state campgrounds, county campgrounds. So she doesn't really need the restroom. So the restroom is really a luxury. She would rather have a more posh camper in a compact space, and just know that she can go someplace to the restroom. I don't have a fireplace in my house. No. Let's go take a look at one more. So this is the ultimate teardrop camper and it is in my mother's favorite color, red. This is the My Pod and this thing is awesome. And Rachel, go stand at the highest point there. And at five foot seven, you can see Rachel is taller. And a half than this camper with the roof racks and she's a good like eight inches taller than the base of it this camper comes in at just 760 pounds and then we're starting on the outside so we do have a manual tongue jack with our battery a place to put our propane we can't get down the other side but you can see there there is 30 amp service over there we got these couple of windows uh, we do have a vent up top with the roof rack and then we have our window here and we're going to come around to the back and here rachel since i'm a big person we're gonna have nico inside so can i fit six foot 195 pounds yes you can okay so i'm six foot 195 pounds and uh, i'm pretty comfortable now i wouldn't lay this way because my head is going to go down here and I'm gonna come up and hit that way. So I'm gonna turn around and lay the way I would normally weigh. Okay. So fully stretched out, no problem. I mean, a little bit, but I mean, my feet. If I if I go straight, I'd be good. So let's let's take a look at the inside here. So we do have a nice little television. We've got some speakers down there. We got a radio. We got some plugs little bit of storage in here look at that they're making oh wait a second you can actually get all the way back there we got a little pull out shelf here a little more storage on the other side air conditioner that's really important and then we have a, a nice vent fan up here and look smoke alarm fire detector i love this this is all like coated in like a, like a car carpeting material. I have to tell you, this is pretty comfortable, this mattress in here. Like and 760 pounds and you can definitely fit it in any garage. So you're making a face, what's the problem? I mean, it's only $14,999, which is pretty awesome. But I'm gonna tell you right now, my mom is not getting in this because she's gonna say, this is the closest that you can get to th on this side of glory to a coffin. <laughs> I do not see her getting in this anytime soon. She might though get it for her dog Boaz. I could totally see her getting this as a pull behind for Boaz. So with all that being said, I've really come to a conclusion. Okay. For my 71 year old mother-in-law who I absolutely love. Yes. And I want to go camping with, <laughs> but I want her to have her own space. But here's the thing. I don't want to have to set up her campsite. I really don't want to have to. You don't. I don't because I love her, but I also want her to maybe go camping without us and experience things because she is an adventurous person. She's not allowed to go anywhere without us. Yeah, but she might want to. Okay. So I have to tell you, after looking at all of these awesome campers, and I think they were all awesome, and I think they're great. But for the woman who I love, okay. I think we need to try to find her a class B or a class C. Then she can get a class C and tow this behind her for Boaz. <laughs> what do you think? I think it's worth a look and we do have one more day here. So that's gonna be the end of this video. So we're gonna end this video right here. Make sure that you are hitting the like button because it's really gonna help out the channel and also make sure you subscribe. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back here to the Tampa RV show tomorrow. 
and we're gonna hunt for the five smallest class C's. I think we're gonna try to get to a class C unless we can find a really cheap class B, but I don't think there's such there a thing such as a, a thing? class B cheap. Yeah. So we're gonna look for a small class C that grandma could come camping with and be completely independent. What do you think? I love that idea. So make sure you subscribe to our channel and also make sure you hit the like button on this video. And don't forget to hit the little bell button and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time, happy Bye. camping.